They specialize in paranormal hunting and anomaly neutralization. These operators were hand-selected from Tier 1 Special Forces like the Navy SEALs, Army Delta, Army Rangers, and the Marine Raiders. They're usually men without families or commitments back home, making it easier for them to become ghosts. You would think, since they were the best within their ranks, they wouldn't need additional training. But your assumption would be wrong. They would be given polygraphs and sworn an oath never to disclose any top-secret information they were soon going to be exposed to. The recruits would then undergo an additional three-year, highly grueling selection process Process, surpassing the challenges of their special forces training. During the first two years, their realities would be broken down and they would be retaught how the world really works, including the things that lurk in the night. They would be debriefed on top secret programs and trained to use classified cutting edge technologies. These include UAPs, state of the art weaponry, exoskeleton suits, and consciousness assisted technologies. During the third and final year, they would push their physical, mental, and spiritual limits, learning new thresholds and transcending their training to a higher level. This is considered the probationary period. The shadows of the veteran operators, team leaders, and training instructors would study their every move and behavior, ensuring their synergy matches with the teams and their objectives. Before completion, a successfully completed real-life operation would be the final obstacle to becoming non-existent. There's no turning back at this point. They are phantoms. Stay tuned for part two.